Welcome to the Raven Space on YouTube. My name is Jason, and this is the Raven Space Daily, where we talk about Baltimore Ravens news every single weekday. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, first things first, I want to say Happy Memorial Day, and thank you to all the men and women who have given their lives to make this country a safer country, um, and also to their families who have also uh, given up everything in order to make America the country that it is. So thank you guys so much. Happy Memorial Day, um, and we'll hop into the news uh, but before I go there, um, I want to let you guys know that uh, we have a Patreon now for the Raven Space, so you guys can support, and in return, we we'll give you goodies and shirts and jerseys and a lot of things, even Ravens tickets. So again, please check that out um, in the description. Also, if you want to help us out and buy a t-shirt from us, I'll put the link in the description for that as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support so far. We're trying to grow. Um, and in order to do that, I need you guys. This episode um, is a different kind of episode because uh, it's Memorial Day. There isn't a lot of news. So we have one news story, and then I'm going to go into three mailbag questions just for you guys. Um, it won't be as long as a mailbag episode, really. Um, it'll be just as long as a Raven Space Daily, but uh, I'm doing it just for you guys on Memorial Day. So let's hop into the first and only news story of the day. And it comes from the Baltimore Sun. Um, and what it is about is the replacement for Kyle Juszczyk. It's going to be a replacement by committee scenario. Um, again, Kyle Juszczyk did so many different things. He was a great pass catcher from the running back position. Um, he was a great, great, great pass blocker. Um, he was also a great run blocker as a fullback. So there are going to be many players that are going to be filling in the field's position. Uh, the first is Ricky Ortiz. So for you guys who uh, made you know the impression, the bet, the decision that Ricky Ortiz is going to make the team, I think you guys are sitting really pretty right now because um, I think he's going to make the team as well. Ricky Ortiz can block, um, and that's what we're going to use him for. We're not going to get pretty in the, the first season to make him be what a use check was. We're going to put him out there to block and power situations. Um, also, uh, Lorenzo Talaferro has also been moved to a fullback. He's been doing blocking drills and training camp. So if he wants to make the team, he's going to have to impress as a fullback uh, because the running back uh, position is so crowded. So those are the two. I think Ricky Fortier is going to make the team over Talia Farrow. So I think Ricky Ortiz will handle the run blocking uh, duties as a fullback. Now for the pass catching duties, the answer is very simple. The Ravens brought in Danny Woodhead. That's Danny Woodhead's job. Um, third down situations, I have a hard time not seeing Danny Woodhead on the field. I think he'll be on the field all the time, in fact. So we'll see, we'll see how the other running backs like Terrence West and Kenneth Dixon play into that a scenario where you have a pass situation and you want a running back that can catch the ball. We'll see how they get there and if they'll even take time away from Danny Woodhead. And then the last uh, portion that Juszczyk really filled uh, was the ability to pass block. Um, he was a great pass blocker. And in order to do that, you're either going to think Ricky Ortiz can fill in, but what happens if you do that? That means they know that you're not running the ball. I think what's going to happen is that this is where Kenneth Dixon has a chance to succeed and get most of his snaps is in situations where the Ravens might be running the ball, but they want to pretend like they have the ability to pass because they have a pass blocker in. Kenneth Dixon will get some time there because he has a bigger body than Terrence West and Danny Woodhead. Um, and he, he can pass block. His body is kind of made for that situation versus the other two. So that's what I think. So it's going to be replacement by committee to replace Kyle Juszczyk. And I believe the Baltimore Sun believes the same thing. I think the way the Ravens will do it, we'll have Ricky Ortiz as a fullback to, for run blocking, uh, Danny Woodhead as the pass catching running back, and then they'll have Kim Dixon uh, to be a runner, but also in those pass blocking situations. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments, and we'll move on to mailbag questions. And so, like I said, we'll do three mailbag questions today. And the first one is from Clayton. And Clayton asks, with the departure of Jernigan, could we see one of our outside linebackers like Tyus Bowser being moved to in in order to fill the spot? Thank you for your videos. I'm a big fan. Thank you so much for your question, Clayton. Um, so, again... I'm going to explain to you my thought process so you guys can keep up and make sure that I'm saying it correctly. Not to keep up, but to make sure that I'm saying it the way that you're thinking it. Because scheme is very important in this situation. Um, so 
when you say an end, I'm thinking in a three four where a three four end is more um of a player that is supposed to gather up offensive linemen and keep his linebackers clean, right? Now, if you're thinking an end like an outside linebacker, you know, or more of a rush end like in a, a four three, I don't. Um, I can't answer that question, but I can only answer the question about the Ravens scheme. So in the three, four, I don't think we have linebacker candidates who can step out there, but we do have a guy named Brent Urban. Um, and I think it's Brent Urban's ready to stand up and make strides for this team. I currently think that Brent Urban is starting uh, for the Ravens and OTAs. So I really do think he's going to get into that spot. Um, and on the line, it'd be him, Chris Wormley, and Brandon Williams. Um, so I think that with Jernigan and leaving, Brent Irwin's going to step up into that spot. And our outside linebackers that we have are going to be outside linebackers in the realm of a Terrell Suggs, where sometimes they'll put their hand in the ground, but their job is to rush the quarterback, not to stop the run or keep linebackers clean like uh, our other players currently do. So thank you so much for your question, Clayton. We'll move on to the next one. And the next question comes from Carson, and Carson asks, do you think Tim Williams will get a lot of playing time this year? Will he only be using third down? Love the videos. Thank you so much, Carson. Um, I say he will not get a lot of playing time this year. I think that he's very raw, very talented as a pass rusher, so he'll get in on third down situations. Now, we see how we play, because if Judon and Tyus uh, play better than him, then he'll be relegated to the fourth spot and come in as a spy or to help an injury. With four line, four outside linebackers, that's a good rotation. They'll all get some playing time, but not a lot. Now, the question is, where is Darius Smith at? Because if he is, let's say, better than Tyus in his first year, um, then Tyus will have a very, very hard time getting on the field. But if Tyus, um, Tim Williams are better than Darius at this point, then... All, all of our new players will get some playing time and Zadarius will be on the bench uh, awaiting his cut day. So, um, But that's a good question, though. I, I think that he can make an impact on third down, especially first and second down, probably not. Um, but in this passing league where teams pass more and more, you know, any, any down is a passing down now, so you can use his skills. So, And the last question is from Jason F., um, and it asks, do you think Patrick Onswar could be like Orr and win the inside linebacker job? Love the vids. Uh, thank you so much, Jason. The answer is no. I think um, Correa has a firm lock on this. Um, and, and when I say firm lock, I mean like a death grip. I, I find it hard. Anyone but McClellan can take it. Um, and that's just because McClellan has the experience. So they'll put him there um, and Correa has the potential, the speed, you know, the sideline, sideline ability. I just think that he has a, a, a vice on this job. Um, you don't need him to be experienced because you have CJ Mosley there. So you can have a player who reacts off instinct and makes good plays while CJ gets the defense in line. So I really do think that Correa has like a, a, a vice grip on this job. I don't think there's any way he could lose it, uh, you know, other than injury or he has some terrible games in the preseason or something like that. But I really do think that it's his job to lose. Um, and Patrick Ansoir and Albert McClellan are going to be on the outside looking in. Um, of course, they'll make the team, but it's going to be hard for them to get that starting position. Um, but they'll both be spell linebackers. So if injury happens, someone gets tired, they'll both come in and out for those situations. So um, thank you so much, Jason F. Um, and that is all the questions we have today. Um, again, shorter episode just because it's Memorial Day and it's a vacation, so not a lot of news happening. Um, and I wanna thank you guys so much again. I also wanna thank the veterans who watch. Thank you guys so much. If you're a veteran, you watch, put a comment below. Um, you know, it's your day, so thank you so much. Um, again, to all the veterans who uh, have given everything for this country, uh, I want to thank their families and thank them as well. Again, um, so I'm super appreciative of you guys. You guys are the best. Uh, I also want to thank the Patreon subscribers who 
help make this show. Um, without you guys, it'd be very hard for me to continue. Uh, thank you guys so much. Also, if you want to support, but you're not really sure about Patreon, you don't want the great benefits there, you, you can buy a shirt uh, from the Raven Space and you know help us there as well. Thank you guys so much. Please subscribe, follow us on social media, uh, and go Ravens.